with immense pleasure i welcome our guest and keynote speaker dr r kartik assistant research scientist china to uh, enjoy and uh, like engage us with his valuable information today welcome sir i request all the participants to switch off your mics and videos i request ms brinda now to address the speaker brinda are you there are you able to hear me yes yes thank you and good evening i welcome all the participants and speaker dr r kartik associate research professor south china normal university china so dr r kartik completed his bachelor of science in chemistry at bardia university coimbatore and he completed his master of science degree in environmental science at bardia university coimbatore he completed his doctorate degree in chemical sciences at csir Central Electrochemical Research Institute, Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research, New Delhi. He is a abide a great researcher, and he has a lot of research interest, particularly in the development of free-standing graphene paper electrodes in large scale, and application of graphene paper electrodes in perovskite solar cells and disensitized solar cells, fabrication of photoelectrochemical desalination, desalination devices, integration of solar cells and redox flow desalination. an investigation of electrode electrolyte interfaces by electrochemical characterization techniques he is basically a very humble person a very polite and friendly to all age group of people and at the first time i spoke to him he was very simple friendly and responded very immediately such a great man and achieved heights in his age as an inspiration to all the students i welcome once again dr r karthik to this session Welcome you sir and now the platform is yours please take your turn Yeah um thank you very much uh... I request all the participants to wait for a few minutes so that the speaker will join again Dear participants I kindly request you all to be uh, patient because uh, the speaker is connecting from China so uh, I guess he's facing some technical issues there so kindly please be patient and uh, stay in line for a few minutes till the speaker comes I repeat kindly be patient since there are some technical issues as the speaker is connecting with us from China so please be patient and stay in line thank you Hi everyone Any, anyone say that you can yes yes sir we can hear your voice please continue see my slide no sir no yeah i think uh, uh, one of the member can be can be open your mic because if uh, if suppose uh, happen something let me know okay yes yes i am there here already i have turned on my mic so you can proceed with your slide sir Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, very good evening. So this is the view of our campus. Uh, the external view of our campus. The next one, please. So uh, before we go into the in depth of our uh, presentation. Uh, let me know uh, what what is happening surrounding us so this is the humanity's top 10 problem for the next 50 years so the first problem is the energy demand followed by water and food the environment and it goes on so so the research community is uh, try to focus major on uh, energy demand and uh, water based research and also they have more uh, keep interest on the environment related issues so these three are very very important we have to focus uh, to uh, to keep our uh, globe in a proper manner the next slide please so this uh, the energy demand and water research uh, water demand and uh, the environmental degradation everything is because of our uh, increase in the global population it's well known to everyone so just uh, i need to give the information why we are focusing into the into energy and water demand uh, research so from this slide you can see uh, what you can see means the sunshine right so the topic is based on the photo desalination so before going to that we have to know 
why the solar energy is so so much important in in uh, common renewable energy resources so in our globe we have a lot of uh, renewable energy resources solar wind uh, geothermal hydrothermal and everything but we are focusing only on the solar energy many researchers have been focused on solar energy why because here you can see the this is the graph of the solar radiation so you don't go into very very much confusion though the wavelength from a 250 to more than 2000 nanometer the green the green shade is a visible region where we are where then human eye can uh, see that visible range so after that you can see that is a red region is a microwave region the microwave region is a higher infrared region where the more heat will be generated and the blue part is a ultraviolet radiation which is not good for the our en- environment as well as for the uh, earth so these uh, ultraviolet radiation have been filtered on in the atmosphere and the uh, green region is passed uh, to the earth's surface and the red region also is passed uh, to the earth's surface and as well as it uh, Brenda? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are able to hear your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this slide I have finished, right? Yes, sir. You have finished this slide. So I will move on to the next slide. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I can move it fast. Uh, so from solar energy, what else we can give to the Earth's surface? So you, using the solar energy, we can do convert into the chemical energy. And second one is electrical okay. energy. and third one is thermal energy so these three energies can be converted within a single solar energy utilization so uh, chemical energy means what we can do with the help of chemical energy there is photo polymerization photo catalysis that is and it is well known that photosynthesis reduction of carbon dioxide to oxygen and uh, electricity can be produced by con- concentrating the photovoltaic cell and also hydrogen generation so what we can do with uh, thermal energy the spacing heat and we can use for industrial application and is and importantly distillation and desalination the desalination we have the topic the main topic we are going to see next slide so the desalination technology is by solar energy so here we can see the solar desalination is already uh, well known the uh, long back before uh, but there are two diff- uh, two kind of desalination or the direct and indirect so in that in the word itself we can uh, identify the meaning of uh, solar desalination so the direct solar desalination uh, infers that de- utilizing the thermal energy directly but indirectly means uh, utilizing the heat energy and it uh, we are storing we are storing in the some kind of a device and again they are pro- providing to desalination so another one is a uh, by uh, utilizing the electrical energy using a solar cell with that electric electric like electrical energy the desalination performance have been done so these are the technologies uh, used in use for solar energy so you can see that there are the various uh, kind of uh, desalination device but we are focusing only on the indirect the membrane based uh, uh, desalination device which have reduced the cost of the remaining part so uh, the electrochemical desalination so we are uh, focusing on the membrane desalination because it decreases the cost of desalination process everyone knows that in in every home we are using a ro plant i think so uh, so here you can see the first thing is a reverse osmosis where you can see the up, the pressure is applying at the first side and the semi permeable membrane is uh, kept in between the tube so by applying the pressure the ions have been absorbed on the membrane surface and the pure water has been uh, gone to this next stage so this is the ro plant process this process was done by pressure method so what is the another method membrane dis- using membrane another method is by applying the electricity so this is called electrochemical drive when you applying the electricity the ions move to their respective electrodes based on their ionic ionic membrane 
so here you can be positive positive uh, sign and the negative negative sign the, it infers that the positive sign infers the cation exchange membrane and the negative is the negative ex uh, sorry anion exchange membrane so the uh, sodium ion will move uh, to the cation exchange and the chloride ion goes to the negative exchange membrane here, here the desalination occurs so these are the two kinds uh, happen in the membrane desalination but the electrodialysis is uh, considered as a electrochemical desalination okay so in electrochemical desalination there are uh, we have seen the, uh, the electrodialysis but the capacitive deionization is uh, different from uh, electrodialysis capacitive deionization means the word itself you can find the meaning capacitive means storage that is energy storage energy storage is nothing but when the ion get absorbed on the surface of the electrode the energy have been stored so the word storage is called capacitive deionization the deionization is nothing but the removal of ions in from the water so we will get a pure water from the sea water we can get a pure water so this is a kind of electrochemical desalination here the first picture shows the um, electrode electrolyte interface i think uh, you people can know the, the fundamental uh, the theoretical uh, uh, part you have been studying in electrochemistry i think so so the the principle of the operation is absorption just the sodium ion will be absorbed at the respective electrodes and chloride ion goes to the respective electrodes so we will get the pure water so this process is called charging when you discharge the ions will co come to into the solution so concentration dilution concentration dilution so the dilution part will be taken as a fresh water so water so in this case the electrode materials are very much important so the recent uh, four materials have been uh, efficiently working as uh, electrode material for this kind of uh, technology uh, the first uh, material is uh, active uh, activated carbon and the second one is carbon nanotube third one is graphene and the fourth one is uh, carbon aerosol so these four materials have been played a wide variety of application in super capacitor hence the super capacitor work well so these four materials have been considered as a good material for capacitive deionization that is cdi next one please okay the second uh, method of uh, electrochemical desalination is membrane membrane capacitive deionization so In previous section we have seen the cdi now we add a membrane so the cation membrane and the anion membrane is uh, placed at the nearby the electrode so here what happens the same mechanism but the membrane have been kept so the ions will be ro removed efficiently there there is no any difference between the cdi and the membrane cdi the membrane cdi the ions will be absorbed very uh, in rapid manner when comparing to the cdi so this is the second method and uh, go to the next one here the flow capacitive deionization the flow means in the previous membrane cdi the electrode have been coated on the electrode uh, coated on the current collector but in this case the electron have been uh, uh, make into the flow electrode it means the electrode material have been pumping towards the the pumping toward between the current electrode of uh, anode and cathode in between we have pla placed the membrane the uh, cation and the anion membrane have been placed in between the flow electrode at middle portion we have playing the sea water <coughs> sorry so here you can see the feed water and after that the ions getting absorbed the fresh water have been uh, uh, we have get the fresh water this one please okay <coughs> till now we have see three types of uh, electrochemical desalination cdi mcdi fcdi so these are the three major differences between the uh, uh, this electrochemical desalination so you people may have a question why uh, the photo desalination topic have been speaking electrochemical desalination of course we have go, you can uh, understand why i am speaking the electrochemical desalination in further slide please come next to okay now we have a question in the previous uh, three cases the few, the salt uh, salt water have been given into the device but uh, the dilute the 
we have get only the few water but it is possible to get fresh water level that is the fresh water level is 500 ppm if i give uh, 10000 ppm of salt feed water it is possible to receive 500 ppm level of water this is a question arises for the researchers so they start to develop a <clears throat> different kind of electrochemical desalination device to remove the ions continuously so here i am going to discuss only about our group uh, uh, desalination devices and there are few there are only few members uh, in this case to remove the salt uh, that is the sea water le- level salt is removed to the fresh water level efficiently in continuous manner so we are also on the group but we have only we have uh, i think we have uh, major many papers uh, based on this electrochemical desalination uh, and you can uh, go through this uh, professor fuming chen group uh, and you can check the papers uh, based on this uh, electrochemical desalination so the first work you can see in the nano scale uh, here we have done the um, two electro two electrolytes that is the first at the negative electrode and the positive electrode the electrolyte the flow electrolyte that is a redox electrolyte have been applied in between the electrodes so the membrane have been separated at the middle part there is the salt salt water is flowing here they have proven that the salt ion can be removed by using the electrolyte redox electrolyte as a active material so this paper has been proved that the redox electrolyte can be efficiently used to remove the uh, ions the so ions from the Uh, sea water okay but it is not a continuous process this is a discontinuous this is a work to give a proof that redox electrolyte also can work okay the second work the james ca here we have confirmed that using the redox electrolyte we have do continuously we have do continuous process where the sodium ions and the chloride ions move to their respective electrodes the uh, salt the salt concentration increases in the redox stream and never it doesn't happen anything whereas the salt you can see in the right side the graph the ppm the concentration of salt uh, sorry nacl concentration have been reduced from 7000 ppm to nearly 500 ppm so of course it is uh, very good that uh, we can uh, we can happy that uh, the 7000 ppm of uh, salt water has been reduced to 500 ppm of course still we have enhanced the uh, salt removal rate in that case we have changed some uh, redox electrolyte we have replaced some el- redox electrolyte in the third work uh, the chemical energy engineering then just recently it have been reported so it is efficiently removed in a low energy consumption so in this uh, three papers we have proven that the energy consumption is reduced at low cost when comparing to the scdi ncdi or fcdi Exactly. Okay. So, so this is a triangle I have shown here. You that you can uh, find the. Hello, guys. Uh, it's me hello? again. Hello. Hello. So you able hello? to hear me, sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So okay. Okay. Yeah, you can continue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. so uh, uh, when we come when we combine the sunlight and uh, electrical it forms a photoelectric uh, effect that means the photo detector a very very important where we are using in uh, bio imaging application biomedical application so what happen when you combine all these three it will become a photoelectric photoelectrochemical reaction this photoelectrochemical reaction have been used in wide variety of applications like uh, photo batteries photo super capacitors and uh, Uh, so, so solar the uh, solar hydrogen generation so it's a new topic this is the thing happened next one please okay this a uh, very very new technology and a new idea is uh, uh, before talking about this i will let me say something you so you people have seen uh, solar uh, solar cells and uh, solar cells in the street right in the street light the solar cell will be at the top but the batteries will be kept at uh, bottom side so there is a connection from uh, solar cell to battery storage so this is very long and also w- what happen when you 
get a marry between uh, solar cells and the battery of course there will be some changes sir are you there hello sir are you able to hear me uh okay bruna yes sir please continue we are able to hear uh, your voice okay. okay 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 so the led fold die will absorb the sunlight and it will generate electrons the photo generated electrons deliver to the cathode and then the electricity applies uh, using the sunlight energy the reaction occur between two electrodes the automatically the ions will uh, go to the respective electrodes and we will get uh, a fresh water continuously but in this paper you can see only few sorry go to go upwards yeah in this paper you can see the last uh, right bottom uh, you can see the concentration of the salt is very low the decrease the uh, the decrease of uh, initial concentration and final concentration is very low so still we have to improve so we do a second work please go next one the uh, okay so this here you can see the photo here we have changed the anode in the previous week we have used the photo anode here we have used the photo cathode what happened okay the in when we use the photo cathode the it's okay the response is okay the even though the ppm is not good the removal of salt ion is not uh, uh, efficient for our application uh, efficient for commercialization okay so still research uh, we have to the research have, we have to develop so in that case i have find a new technology to using the solar driven diesel mesh so please go next one so this is a here you can see the that the the image you can see the sun is laughing at uh, laughing at us because it provides electricity as well as the diesel mesh so the dual process have been uh, get a marry into a single device so this is the device uh, recently i have proposed Uh, here you can see the mechanism uh, is i have given inside um so here you can see that the major three electrodes are very important the first one is photo electrode and the second one is integrated electrode and third one is the cathode so here we are using three electrodes here you can see the the photo electrode has some uh, dye molecule which is responsible uh, for uh, sunlight and it delivers the electron to the cathode not to the integrated electrode it delivers electron to the cathode here the circuit should be clo closed the circuit should be open here the circuit should be closed for cathode when the electron moves to the counter electrode here the reaction the redox reaction occur between the electrodes the uh, the desalination process occur so when you compare it to the previous slides and now here you can see we have uh, decreased from 4000 ppm to 500 ppm so here there is we don't use any electrical energy here we use only the solar energy and we obtain sea water to fresh water continuously of course this is uh, this is a uh, energy uh, sorry uh, energy consumption free uh, device where we can deliver uh, convert from sea water into fresh water using only solar energy no need any kind of energy uh, maybe we can use the energy for uh, doing the pumping or like that so that is a miscellaneous miscellaneous expense uh, that is not considered in the uh, expenditure but here this is a zero uh, device we can say that this one give further uh, i have done some uh, uh, modifications in the device architecture and recently this paper have been we have pushed to uh, i am by there so it expect to be published or i don't know so here you can see the solar redox flow desalination generator we have done so here we have used uh, uh, to 15000 ppm initial field salt in the previous week work we have used only 4000 ppm as the initial field in here, in this work we have used 15000 nacl concentration and finally we have received 5 ppm and also the salt removal rate is very very high so we have obtained ultra high quality fresh water at 5 ppm without in uh, using electrical energy just we use uh, uh, solar energy so these two work have been uh, uh, we have proved that no need of any any kind of renewable uh, sorry any kind of electrical energies to operate the 
desalination performance we can use only the solar energy so on this basis um, i would like to conclude my uh, topic first i would uh, apologies for my uh, internet problem uh, so after uh, so i now acknowledge my uh, uh, nova 2020 so for uh, organizer and uh, their member so they have done a very good job so they ca so they make a meet with the different students and different uh, uh, persons in this uh, webinar course or in the webinar uh, to nova 2020 and we can uh, share many kind of uh, different kind of uh, research application i think this uh, talk should be very useful for uh, students because in the future we they need this kind of things so if you have any kind of uh, uh conversation for between my uh, slides and my work so please feel uh, make a feel free to contact me i have given my contact number and everything and also i would like to acknowledge my uh, professor uh, kimington giving me opportunity to do a post doctorate and also he helped me to go move for the next position and also of course i need to acknowledge my thanks to my group members and my uh, head of the department professor who i just forgot to mention here and also sir are you able to hear me sir yeah so i would like to acknowledge my thanks to professor ajay i think is usa so they are most and most supportive for uh, the present work for the ultra high water uh, quality production uh, thank you both of them and uh, obviously my my uh, friends and my family without their support i can't do anything sir are you able to hear me sir yeah yeah can you so we have some questions here uh, first question is from uh, shobhana narayana swami she is asking that whether we can modify the anode by any of the nano materials is it possible to purify the blood by electrodialysis uh, you mean uh, she asking the electrodialysis using electrodialysis right yeah she is asking uh, two questions first one is whether we can modify the anode by any of the nano materials and the second one is is it possible to purify the blood by electrodialysis uh, yeah okay uh, the first question uh, i can answer that uh, nano materials are very very important for uh, any kind of application because the nano material have uh, the property the the its a property uniqueness is very much different from the bulk property because because you, if for example if you take a bulk uh, carbon and a nano carbon if you take a bulk carbon the reaction at the surface of the bulk carbon is very very poor if you take a nano carbon the activity will be increased because surface the surface activity will be enhanced and so the reaction at the surface will be increased and hence the electrochemical properties will be enhanced when you uh, incorporate the nano materials into the electrodes so for now we are uh, in this studies we have used only the bulk materials maybe in the future we will add uh, nano materials to enhance the performance of the device so sir, the second one uh, she asked the electrodialysis of course the electrodialysis is a mechanism what happen in our human body to separate the uh, In, in it happens in our urinary system so that that is the electrodialysis it uh, where the membrane will be there it, it will it will separate the ions and the water so but i don't know about the blood purification because uh, i am not much uh, uh, experience in the biological application maybe maybe i can refer to my friends and uh, i will i will answer to that question Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, and we have another question. Uh, you can refer the chat box. I will read out, but uh, for your clarification, you can read it in the chat box, sir. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Mr. I read it. Yeah. Yeah. So, hi, Dinesh Babu. George has two questions. First one is, what about the disposal challenges of these electrochemical desalination reactors? What? What are they? what about the disposal challenges of the electrochemical desalination reactors yeah yes 
it's good question but uh, i don't know which uh, electrochemical desalination he asked whether he asked uh, cda mcda or fcda which one he asked i don't know uh, um, maybe if i will tell uh, yeah you can explain the he saying ro cda mvc R-O-C-D-A. also uh, oh okay 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 is the performance of this uh, electrochemical desalination yeah. of course the uh, reaction everything is depend upon ph but in cda cda mcda fcda in these three cases the ph role is negligible because the carbon doesn't have ph yes in the three devices i mean that cda fcda mcda in these three devices we are utilizing only the carbon and the nacl so the ph is negligible here but in the case of Uh, another deca- electrochemical desalination what we in our group we have done that is uh, the redox uh, reaction here the ph uh, will be uh, changes will occur but never mind that because the membrane don't allow uh, the, the ph uh, the ph to change exchange from the activity uh, active member active uh, compartment to the salt compartment it will never exchange the affect the ph of the both compartment it is very sure because because the membrane is a well versed uh, manufactured by the well versed company and also we have uh, have the licensed it is a licensed product it is wide by right in it is it has been used in uh, in industrial applications also so the ph role even though is the ph is the effect of the, the reactivity electrodes but it don't affect the salt screen that is very sure he has also asked uh, which method is more efficient in capacity and uh, which or what is the performance of the electrochemical desalination reactors depend on ph solutions yeah just now i explained to you uh, uh, maybe i can answer uh, i can read the question for him uh, share your views on utilizing emergence as membranes for the yeah, sure sir sure sir so. uh, emergence um, of course emergence we can use but it should be specialized for uh, uh, ionic movement i i mean the selective ion should be moved towards that membrane if the emergence is non reactive if the emergence acts as a catalyst for uh, redox material as well as for the salt stream then we can use emergence as a membrane but still we have to do some research that the selective ions will move from redox to the salt stream if without any uh, knowing we have used emergence as a membrane for a desalination application then uh, then we can find that some movement of uh, the, that the what i said uh, before the ph uh, variation the ph variation and the exchange of ions uh, positive and negative both will occur it may be practically it may be a problem but still we can improve the desalination applications by using emergence as a membrane i think uh, if you ask uh, emergence as uh, use as a membrane Uh, why can't you uh, i miss my suggestion you can use graphene 2d sheet as a membrane i think there are many lot of papers recently have been published using uh, graphene oxide reduced graphene oxide as a membrane for uh, desalination performance uh, let me you share your uh, contact email id i can share many papers regarding that this body material has good efficient compared to gold in the process for what what you are asking which 2d materials has good efficient compared to gold and plastic 2d materials i suggest 2d materials 2d materials must be good one when comparing to other materials because 2d materials 2d materials why we are choosing the 2d materials means we can we can make it into different kind of uh, structures like microstructure or meso structure uh, nano structure for example uh, another kind of uh, things like uh, hydrogel aerogel so if you use the, the 2d materials uh, for this kind of things the activity of the re- electrochemical reactions will be enhanced and also 
when you comparing the 2d materials with the gold nanoparticles the cost of the material will also be reduced so in the 2d material i suggest 2d materials will be a best one thank you sir uh, so i hope that this session was very useful to you and to the speakers listening uh, this the participants listening and uh, i guess that we have reached the end of the session today so let me conclude it with a word of thanks on behalf of everyone attending the meeting and our supporters event organizer and as a coordinator i extend my hearty thanks to dr karthik for sharing his precious time with us and exchanging valuable information to our active participants the session as a whole was very informative and thought provoking sir Sure, our participants will make great use of the content shared today. I wholeheartedly thank our supporting promoters, Sai Varni Creations, RK Engineering Works, and Believe Motivations for helping us in organizing this amazing webinar session and allowing us to be a part of it. Last but not the least, I thank the participants who have cooperative and patient throughout the session. Hope this session was useful to the audience. Participants will receive the feedback form only on August twenty six, twenty twenty. certificate will be issued to the participants who attend more than 5 sessions until next time this is varshini signing off thank you thank you so much participants thank you so much sir it is uh, been a pleasure having you here with us uh, thank you so much thank for you, uh, you providing us your valuable time and uh, helping us throughout thank you so much yeah yeah thank you everyone if any doubt still you can still uh, contact me through email yeah Yeah. Thank you very much for your time and concern, sir. We will end the session now. Thank you all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.